Today, let's talk about what exactly charges a Ford Maverick's electric battery. Let's go. So whenever we very first start the Maverick, there's nothing happening because we're in EV mode. If we put it into drive, we can actually start driving and the gasoline engine hasn't even started up yet. Then even as we take off here, we're still in all electric mode. So then now as we pick up speed and we put a little bit more load on the engine, we actually have to switch over and use the gasoline engine. But watch what happens whenever I let off the throttle and start applying the brakes. Ready? One, two, three, brakes. Look at that green gauge going all the way deep down into that green battery recharge. That's the first way the Maverick actually charges its own electric battery is through the brakes. These days, it's a fairly common thing for hybrids to have what's called regenerative braking, but Ford has also equipped that here in the Maverick. And what it does is through the braking system itself, regenerate electricity that otherwise would just be lost. It'd be dissipated to heat and it wouldn't be useful for us. But because it can be used here in a hybrid system and actually generate electricity, that is a large factor in charging the electric battery so that when you need it, you'll have juice. And then along a similar vein, if I actually just let off the throttle, we're going 62 miles an hour. If I let off, watch this power gauge here, dive to the left and go into that green area, which will also be charging the battery. Ready? One, two, three, let off. So the truck is coasting at this point. My foot is totally off the gas pedal. It's not slowing down a significantly larger amount than any other vehicle is whenever it's coasting, but the difference is the Maverick is able to use that to its advantage. It's charging the battery right now, even as we coast. And then that little green light has come on, which tells us it's actually ready to be used in electric mode. And so if I just gingerly get back on the throttle, here we are at 39, 40 miles an hour, and we've lost it. I was gonna say, we're electric driving there for a minute because we're actually able to do that because we have so much juice and because we're not requiring that much of the gasoline engine. The third way that the Maverick can charge its own battery is just through normal driving. So if you have a, a low battery as far as the electric hybrid assist battery, not your normal battery, we're talking about just the electric hybrid battery, if it's low, then just running the normal engine, just by driving, it can actually recharge that battery as well. And we've gotten to the end of our dirt road. We better turn around. Oh boy. Because the battery pack in this Ford Maverick hybrid is only 1.1 kilowatt hours, it's not intended to be used in pure electric mode for very long. It's really just supplementing different kinds of driving here and there, or as you coast on the freeway, or as you coast down a hill, you can actually recharge that battery so that the next time you need it, the power is there. But it's fill-in. It's these areas where there's low demand on the engine, where you're only needing 10 or 15% of the total power of the engine that that hybrid motor can kick on and basically be an EV for a little while. Now, one of the differences between this truck and other hybrids that are called plug-in hybrids is that a plug-in hybrid implies a larger battery pack. Typically, if you can plug in your vehicle, even if it is a hybrid and still has an internal combustion engine, what that means also is that you're able to go purely in EV mode for a sustained period of time. As of right now, Ford does not have a plug-in hybrid truck. Even though the Ford Maverick is the cheapest hybrid on the market today, it is not a plug-in hybrid, which means the battery pack can't be charged in any way independent of the inbuilt powertrain. You can't plug it in, in the garage, you can't plug it in at work, it's not how it works like that. Now, I think it'd be really cool if Ford did come out with a plug-in hybrid version because maybe you'd get something like 50 miles of EV range. The battery pack at that point is substantial enough and the power delivery is substantial enough that you could literally have an EV mode. This truck does not have an EV mode, it's just drive. And so if you had that mode, in theory, you'd be able to go to work and come back and plug it in again, and maybe the internal combustion engine wouldn't need to come on at all because you'd be in pure EV mode and you wouldn't spend a drop of gas. Then only whenever you used up the whole battery would you have to then kick on that motor and use gasoline. I think that could be a sweet spot for this truck going forward because there should be space for it in the back. I'll show you whenever we stop. The battery that powers the drivetrain is actually under the right rear passenger seat. And if Ford used that same space on the left rear passenger seat, then they could potentially increase the size of that battery, maybe enough to make it a plug-in hybrid. So if I give it more and more and more throttle, we're just using both electricity 
and gas. And then if I let off completely, we're recharging. If I give it just a tiny bit of throttle, we're in all electric. So it's really your right foot that controls where the power is coming from and how it's delivered to you as a driver. Because we're cruising at 47 and it's in all electric mode. Let's go ahead and turn on cruise control and see how long we can stay in EV mode. 48 miles an hour. Oh, when I put up to 49, it lost it. <laughs> so the long and the short of it with a Ford Maverick is that the truck charges itself. You don't have to worry about range. You don't have to worry about, do you have the right charger? There's none of that. The way that you go about your life driving a Ford Maverick hybrid is the same as any other gasoline powered vehicle you've ever had in your entire life. It's very, very simple, very, very similar. The hybrid system then isn't so much a replacement for a gasoline engine, it's a supplement to it. It's a small part of the overall power equation for this truck. And I think one of the interesting things about driving this is that it's a little bit more entertaining because you have more control over what's happening with the powertrain. If you can be patient coming away from a stop, maybe you'll get really good mileage because you'll stay in EV mode longer. If you can be a little bit more gentle with your right foot as you drive on the freeway or around town, you can potentially get astronomical mileage figures where in my V8 F-150, that's just not an option. There's no way that I can drive really economically and get better than about 22 miles per gallon. And even then right now I'm averaging 16. That's something else that I like about this truck actually is whenever you're going at low speeds and you don't need a lot of throttle and it's got some battery juice left, the electric engine is taking over and it's powering the accessories, but the gas engine is turned off. So whenever you pull it into your garage, like I just did, you don't have a bunch of exhaust fumes coming around in here because it's in EV mode. The truck is running, but you don't even hear it because it's just the battery. So cool. Okay, let's turn it off. So come around to this side with me and I'll show you the little battery pack that's responsible for all this fun. So right here, underneath the seat, taking up a little bit of storage, is this area that's designated for the hybrid battery. Now there's still storage space in here. You can see how deep my hand goes in there. There's still storage space on the other side, but because this little hump here in the middle is taken up by the battery pack, you don't get to use that for storage. Now I think it's a good trade-off because you get astronomical mileage figures, but it's kind of interesting that they put it here because you typically think it would be some kind of like roller skate design under the seat. That's where a lot of electric vehicles that are purely EV put their batteries, or you might think that it's under the hood but it's not under the hood with the rest of the gas engine. It's, it's actually back here. One of the reasons I think this is actually really clever is for weight balance. Because if you think about it, most of us are driving kind of alone. So you've got your weight there on the driver's seat. Then you've got this weight back here counteracting you in a diagonal action. And so it balances the vehicle out the most you possibly can. And so I think it's really cool that Ford put it back here. Why don't I have that storage in the back of my F-150? Man, the engineering nowadays, so much better. See right there? Normal fuel filler cap. No plug-ins here. Just normal gasoline. And that, my friends, is how you power a Ford Maverick's electric battery pack. To watch more Ford Maverick videos, click right here, and I'll see you next time. Bye.